Right, I've been looking at uh, tuning and range today and so on the right hand side we have a Walgreen tower, it's one of my Walgreen types on a pill bottle and a KN2222A is the transistor and the idea has been to transmit wirelessly over to the, oh it's the Johnny Davro SEC exciter and then the bunch of LEDs there and two coils which Dr. Stifler was talking about in a recent video uh, of using uh, a diode on one of them and trying to get the things to tune in. So over here we've got the DC to DC adapter and while we're on about efficiencies I'm just going to turn it to the first which is the 1.5. As you can see the Slayer type tower, the Walgreen is working and over here there we are all of those LEDs are on very brightly and the thing is if I change any of the tuning um, of say this ferrite here then things are uh, drastically affected I'll try and as you can see it reacts with the hand and all sorts and there we are. Now if I move, uh, you can see that if I move this one closer you can see, well, hopefully you can see, there's a change in the brightness of the LEDs there. There we are. We've just got to get, get them just about right and everything stays on. Whoa! They really do affect each other quite well. It is really interesting. Uh, well the whole thing's more more absorbing than a sham wow. Right, so, if we look at the range with this LED, and we can see it goes to about there, so we're already looking at a, a distance away from uh, an AV plug or a uh, setup like this, which is a small coil and four diodes as a bridge rectifier. We can see that it's further than that normally very efficient setup, and yet we're still picking up a heck of a lot there. Um, if Instead, I put this little oscillator in the middle. Now you can see that that's winding down, that that's stopping, because the distance between there, there is too much for that oscillator to run properly. However, if I move it over to the Johnny Davro circuit, we end up with the oscillator firing up. The receiving idea here is what I've got going into the, the circuit is an AV plug with a 104 ceramic capacitor, then the length of wire there to an inductor, I don't know if it needs it or not actually, um, but that came from a circuit board, and then a lump of aluminium made into a ball at the top. It's rather like uh, the Colorado Springs Tesla setup perhaps. Uh, anyway, it works, <laughs> it works great. So, as I say, we're on 1.5 volts here. And this has all been about the tunings today. I've got the ferrite rod on the inside. I can show you, well, if I move this ferrite rod as well, you can see that it goes out of tune. You can let go. I'm going to try and bring it back. There we are. Bring it back into the strongest again. I'm very pleased uh, indeed with this, uh, seeing it's going from 1.5 volts there. And it's quite the range. I've got, oh just to add, I've got a ground wire coming down and it is it is similar to uh, Dr. Stifler's setup what he was discussing in his last video. And the last thing, I did try to build microvolts clap oscillator, uh, but this one's not going to get a round of applause. Unfortunately it doesn't work yet, but I will carry on with that idea, I like the idea. Okay, thanks for watching.